Bright Fun Nation. Welcome to Behind the Bumpers. I'm here at Kettering Week Zero. My name is E. Lockman, and I'm with Team 1506 Metal Muscle from right here in Flint, Michigan. I'm here with team members David, Luke, and Zach to talk about their auto scoring alignment, their double end effectors, and level one ground intake arm. We're also going to take you right onto the field to show you some demonstrations of the things that we're going to see here today. Look for all this and more coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu slash FIRST to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information. All right, Luke, tell me about your scoring assemblies and your double end effector. So we have a double end effector, so it's more compact, so when we try to score, we can take the coral, score the coral, and then take the LG off the reef. For our LG, we have an X44 that's spinning it with a custom 3D printed pulley. That way, so it's bigger, that way so we can have a little bit more torque in it. And then we have another X44 that's actually spinning it to spin these wheels so we can intake the LG. So Zach, you wanna put the LG in? So it intakes it and we can bring it up and then we can move our elevator as high as we need to score in the barge or the processor. Awesome, now talk to me about your coral intake and the innovative shallow curve on the ramp. So for our coral intake, we start from the ramp and then we have to make the, amp, the ramp this way for our climber because we need it to make sure it doesn't touch the carabiner or the chain attached to the cage. And then we found we had a different angle on here, but we found that with this, we can make this lower, so we don't have to worry about it like snagging on anything or breaking. All right, now show us your coral journey. So for the coral, we can go in from any orientation, which is either horizontal or like vertical. And when we drop it in, it goes down, it goes through here, gets caught by this, which then transfers with another X44, so it can hold it in place with the pass-through being the hardest part of the whole design because we couldn't find out where we wanted these pulleys to go. With the pulleys you usually have them in the center, we had to do two separate ones so it could actually like fit through. All right, now tell us why exactly you chose kind of the double end effector. We chose it because it's more compact. That way, so when we're scoring, we can score the, out, we can score the coral and pick up an LG from the reef at the same time. Amazing. All right, so we've actually taken you onto the field for this next segment because we have Zach talking about their wonderful level one ground intake. So Zach, take it away. So we decided to do a ground take intake in on top of our human player intake because we figured versatility is great in this game and being able to do everything will probably get us a, lo a long way. So right after Auton, we especially noticed that we have three coral right there to intake. And with our current status of our human player plus end effector, we can't exactly get those. So we decided to create our ground intake. So we can go down, pick up a coral, go over to the reef, and shoot it right in. So how this works is we have a Kraken right here with a 15 to 1 gear box driving this up and down. We also have a tensioner spring so it goes back and hits our limit switch right here. It's a push button as opposed to a lever arm. And what's driving our wheels here is an X44 once again. Packaging purposes, it fits nicely between our intake plates. Uh, what made this especially hard to make is we have our elevator right here and we have our cable track for our elevator and that, that takes up a lot of room. 
So we only had about eight inches to play with and making a nice ground intake with eight inches isn't the easiest thing in the world, but that's also about only what you need. Absolutely. So let's do a little scoring demonstration once again. So gonna have you pick up a coral right there. Okay. So as you can see, our wheels are still spinning here. And that's because when we're driving around, it doesn't provide enough friction just staying still. So it's constantly intaking while we're going over to score. All right, now I'm here with David to talk about their auto alignment. So explain how the limelights match up to the April tags on this robot. So we have a limelight both on the front and the back of the robot. The first limelight is actually hidden underneath of all of this. It's right in there. And that limelight is used for when we want to score. Now, the way it works is it reads the April tag and uses the distance between the April tag and the limelight along with the X and Ys to determine either to turn the robot or to drive forward and backwards. While we also have a limelight on the back of the robot, which does the same thing, except only for the human player station when we wanna try and grab some coral. This is very helpful for us because it is able to automatically align our coral end effector to score onto the right side of the reef. And how it works is on the driver controller, you hold one button, and as you hold it, it is constantly receiving feedback on the April tag to the limelight and tells the drivetrain what to do. Awesome. All right, Fun Nation, this has been another edition of Behind the Bumpers. Thank you so much to Team 1506 for letting us look at their robot and to David, Luke, and Zach for telling us all about it. You can catch these guys at Kettering District Event Number 2 and Troy in Week 4, and maybe at the Michigan District Championship in Week 6. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu slash FIRST to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options through their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions.